our, our dream is to have a to have created a digital twin of global societal well-being. An idea that you have a global model that describes how each community is doing and what inputs from our global corporations, governments, and nonprofits can uh, can provide in terms of advancing the development trajectory of these communities. We're ultimately trying to create a predictive capacity to know that a dollar invested in electricity access or in grid access or in transportation or in agriculture or in the, the commercial fabric of society is going to have a downstream impact on community progress, well-being, happiness, and economic advancement. We ultimately exist at the intersection of business intelligence and market intelligence. So think about business intelligence as a company's ability to understand how progress is emerging against the objectives and targets that they care most about. It's very internally facing. It's how are we doing and hitting our revenue targets? Where is our sales force performing well and where are they lagging behind? How is our supply chain uh, managing against downstream consumer demand? Market intelligence has historically been a very different activity within an organization. You outsource that to a market research firm, to a consulting firm, your team tries to wrangle the, the myriad of data sources out there that can help give you some inclination about how the world is changing around you, which results in a PowerPoint presentation or some very technical platform that, that is difficult for the average business manager to use. Let me share a few examples of how Alice AI's technology is being used out in the world. In one scenario, we're working with a, a team of, of leading US academic institutions funded by the Rockefeller Foundation to develop a policy support platform for African governments to invest in the sustainability and re resilience of communities within their countries. This is the first time that AI, satellite imagery, and local data sets have been brought together to invest at the intersection of the agriculture, transportation, and energy sectors. Historically, think about how development has been progressed. We, we look at where communities are lacking in electricity, we understand the dynamics of how electricity access can promote well-being. And there's a very uh, narrow approach to thinking about where capital should go to support the advancement of different development priorities. Atlas AI and our academic partners are ushering in a new mindset around systems level development. How do you think about the, the benefits that electrifying a community can have on then progressing the irrigation capacity of a local farming community? With more productive crops, what is a more efficient roadway and access to markets allow for in terms of reduced post-harvest loss and increased income and earning potential for farmers? How does that increased earning potential come together to have downstream benefit for the overall economic progression of that community? This is the potential of the future of how AI can support economic development in these communities and, and brings together our principle of combining the best in scientific research with applied technology development built on Google Cloud. Alice AI's collaboration with Google dates back to our academic founding story at Stanford University, where Google Earth Engine provided the core platform for developing the original research that demonstrated that satellite imagery could, could identify and measure poverty in places where statistical data was often out of date or, or hard to reach. There was no other platform available that could combine the computational power of working with terabytes of satellite imagery with access to the latest data sources uh, and the ability to actually create public data products that could be made accessible to the general public and, and via research. Alice AI brought those models with Google Earth Engine into the company when we were founded in 2018. And ever since then, we have continued to develop on the Google Cloud platform. If you think about the, the challenges of building a global fabric of, of, of societal well-being, we have to work with massive data sets from, from many different sources. We're working with some of the most advanced and frontier machine learning techniques possible. And we need to deploy the resulting models on a range of customer scenarios. Google Compute Engine gives us the computational power to run these models, to manage them, and to deploy them into customer environments. Google, Google Kubernetes engine allows us to containerize our solutions and make them flexible and deployable depending, regardless of the, uh, the environment that the customer is looking to run this insight within. BigQuery stores 
dynamic data models and the underlying data that we've developed, as well as customer information and user data within our application, and makes it all structured and dynamically available for ongoing learning and reinforcement of these machine learning models. Google App Engine helps us to deploy our end user application Aperture so that it's available to customers who are, in many cases, operating in very different parts of the world. We are using dozens of Google services to enable this to all come together, any one of which allows Alice AI to operate on global scale with the type of real-time feedback that's necessary to operate this business. All of them together make the Google Atlas AI partnership unique. And we're so proud to be one of the inaugural Google Cloud Ready sustainability partners. Imagine a future where we can bring all of this information together model a digital twin of local well-being on a community by community basis for every single community on the planet and use that to help predict where an extra dollar injected into a local economy can drive the greatest well-being of businesses, citizens, and the overall development of the community. This is possible with the roadmap that Atlas AI is executing on. We are building the most comprehensive set of models understanding how different aspects of society come together to create change, to forecast that change and to help organizations make decisions, anticipating how communities are likely to evolve one, three, five years into the future, and so that they can act responsibly and they can act proactively to advance their business goals and those of broader sustainable development objectives.